Okay, today is an exciting video because if you know me at all or if you've watched any of my channels where I've talked about these kinds of products, you know I am partial or obsessed with lip gloss. Like lip gloss, lip jellies, lip oils, lip balms, they're my vibe. I love them. They're just fuss free lip products and I am into them. Mm. So naturally when Fenty Beauty came out with their new cream gloss bomb formula, I was very intrigued and had to try them out for myself. So that is what we are doing today. We are reviewing the new cream Fenty gloss bombs. I have every shade. We're going to swatch them so that you can see what they look like. We're going to swatch them on my lips without lip liners or anything like that so you can see what they look like on the lips and how opaque they are. And we're just going to get into all of the details. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you keep on watching. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. It means the absolute world to me if you do, and thank you, thank you, thank you if you have. And now let's get into the gloss. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. When Fenty announced that they were coming out with the cream gloss bomb products or range, let's call it, it was just after Black Friday and I got a tad sad because I was like, Martina, there is a line with makeup purchasing and you have crossed it with Black Friday. Too far! God! So you actually need to pump the brakes and wait before you pick up any of these cream Fenty gloss bombs. Luckily, my Santa Claus is watching my YouTube videos, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and my amazing partner picked me up all five of the Fenty cream gloss bombs for Christmas. I am I truly know how blessed I am, trust me, don't, don't you worry, and don't be coming for my man, he's mine. So I have all five of the shades right here for us to get into. Now, these particular products are basically the same as the normal Fenty gloss bombs in terms of size, shape, and price. So they're 31 Australian dollars. I wanna say they're like 18 US dollars. I'll put that on the screen if I've got that wrong. And they hold nine mils of product or 0.3 fluid ounces of product. So they hold the exact same amount of product as the normal Fenty gloss bombs, or at least the normal full size Fenty gloss bombs. And essentially they basically just say that these are the exact same formula as their original gloss bombs, minus the shimmer. Now it comes in the standard Fenty beauty packaging, which is their kind of like black and white graffiti one. And it's gorgeous as always. And in terms of the actual like component packaging themselves, it's again, it's the exact same shape, size and everything of the original gloss bombs, except you've got the awesome like cream kind of like logo, I guess that you want to call it, because this is the same kind of logo or like cream word that they've got on their cream bronzers and their cream blushes in their makeup collection. So I love that they kind of pick a theme and they stick with it. I love that all of their makeup products are like this hexagon shape and it's just all kind of the same vibe. So like if you ever see their products, you're like, bam, that's Fenty Beauty straight away. Boom, Ooh. bam, Ooh. bop. So hats off to Rihanna because she knows how to create some amazing packaged products. That's all I'm saying. She knows how to brand herself and her brand. You know what I mean, right? So let's go ahead and get stuck into the swatches. I'm going to swatch these on my hand for you first, and then we are going to get into the lip swatches and final thoughts. So this is all five of the Gloss Bomb creams swatched. So starting with Fenty Glow, then we have Cookie Jar, Fruit Snacks, Mauve Wives, and Honey Waffles. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, lip swatches basically where I'm trying each one of these glosses on. So the first one is Fenty Glow, which is the same shade as their original gloss bomb. And it is, I would say, this is probably the most wearable gloss bomb that, or the, the most wearable color that they have, at least for my skin tone. I mean, they do say that Fenty Glow is a universal shade for everyone, and um, I probably agree with that, but it's definitely a beautiful kind of natural nudie shade for me. Next up, we have Cookie Jar, which is the darker brown color, or the darkest brown in the collection, and it is kind of like almost, it's a really warm tone brown, like a really 
I want to say chocolate, but it's also not even really that chocolatey. It's more of like a ready tone brown and it is beautiful on the lips. It's kind of like a terracotta -y color. Definitely would be very nice on deeper skin tones, like absolutely beautiful. It's really sultry and like smoky and I think just even on its own with like a nude lip liner underneath it, it would look absolutely stunning. Next up we have Fruit Snacks, which is the beautiful, vibrant red one. And this like, I don't know if you guys ever had roll ups. <laughs> when you were in school or like um, fruit straps, maybe they were probably called in America. This reminds me of like that really raspberry roll up color. <laughs> I love it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful red. And I feel like um, the red Mademoiselle, I don't actually know the color of it, but there is a red Mademoiselle. I feel like this would look absolutely beautiful over the top of it. It is quite an opaque red gloss, but I don't think it's, it's not super, super opaque. So again, I think if you were to put a lip liner or a lipstick or something underneath this and then pop this on top, it's going to look absolutely stunning, which actually I will put a photo or a clip in here of me wearing this. I wore this one over the top of the Huda Beauty red lipstick in, I can't remember the name. Anyway, I wore this over the top of that red lipstick and for Christmas day and it looked absolutely stunning. And I do have to admit it did not budge all day. Next up is the beautiful purple color, which is Mauve Wives, which I just absolutely love that name so much. I have to be honest, I was expecting to like this color the least out of all five of them. I don't know why, I just expect, I was expecting that. But I have to say that I think this is nearly one of my favorites as well. It's just absolutely beautiful on the lips. For my particular lip color and my skin tone, it's just really natural and it, it just it looks really, really pretty. And it's not like overly ridiculously purple. It's just a really nice understated kind of like, like mauve color. Duh. Um, and it is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I have the Colourpop lip liner underneath it called Oh Snap but this is very very muted so this definitely just kind of is like a really beautiful lip combination in my opinion. And last but not least we have Honey Waffles which is like this really kind of not super light but a light tan color so I think on a medium skin tone this would make a really beautiful kind of nudie color but for me it just is it's like a very very pretty tan color really and it will add kind of like a nice tone to the right brown or again like on top of a lip liner it will just add a little something different and a little bit unique it's kind of a it's quite a unique gloss color so i do really really like this so that is what all five of the gloss bombs look like on my lips without any lip liners or anything like that underneath them in terms of formula i do absolutely agree i think that these are exactly the same gloss bomb formula as what their current gloss bombs are except without the shimmer go figure so overall basically I absolutely adore these. I think these are amazing. I love the shade range of these products as well. I think she's really nailed it with the purples to the reds to the different kinds of um, brownie tanny colors that she's got in there. It's not your typical nudes and it's not a typical collection that's just gonna suit one skin tone either. So I really appreciate that she's done that with this collection and I look forward to her expanding it as well and bringing out more colors. Cause I do think that this formula is bomb. It's absolutely bomb. Let me know if you've picked up any of these Fenty cream gloss bombs yet or if you're thinking about it and what is maybe holding you back or are you just waiting for a shade or are you waiting for a review? What, 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 what? What? Let me know your thoughts down below. I love hearing from you guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I appreciate it so much, especially if you're watching to this point. Thank you. You're a legend. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.